it's Monday the 1st of February and although I've had the day off I haven't vlogged anything. I've been sleeping because somebody got me up at 3 o'clock in the morning and 4 o'clock in the morning. She was up on, she had a bad, bad dream didn't you baby? And she's been, oh, again, um, playing up. It's because you keep pressing the button here, don't press that. Um, yeah, I'll be back. So I have filmed my um, colouring pages for the month and done some other bits and pieces and now I'm chilling on the sofa with Jennifer and Paul and I'm going to start colouring uh, in the Jade Summer Emoji book because you know what, why not? Jennifer is playing with her dinosaurs. What's that one, Mummy? Which one's that one? I'll do it now. Shall I have a look and see which one it is? Hang on. This is a, oh it's upside down. A Parasaurolophus. Parasaurolophus. Can you show me the T Rex, Jen? A Rex! Show me the Rex. Get the Rex out. Okay. Yep, yeah, that's the one. That's right, that's Rex. That's Rexy. I'm not seeing. Where's the Spinosaurus? It's there. Point again, which one's spiny? It's there. A Spinosaurus. That's right. Uh, which one's Velociraptor? That. No, it's that one. Is it that one? No, that's Brachiosaurus. That's Velociraptor. Oh, more Brachiosaurus again? Oh, maybe. I don't know. It's a Raptor. No, that's a Patasaurus, that one. Oh. Who's this one? Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus. Oh, careful. Oh, sorry. And who is this one? A tops, Terry say Sarah Tops. I think Rexy's eating them all, isn't he? Oh no, that's whatever that is. What's this one? Hmm. You philosopher, oh, I can't pronounce it, Saurus. They got some funny names, don't they? Like your dinosaurs, don't you, Jennifer? I think he's killing them all. But Rexy is the biggest, baddest of them all. Rawr. Rawr. <laughs> oh, tops. Go. Tops. Oh, tops there. Oh, you find him on the side. Yeah, there are pictures there, aren't they? So it's coming up to nine o'clock and Paul's gone to bed. We're really tired. It's been a hell of a day. Jennifer's been brilliant. She's sound asleep. She's worn out. Of course, she was awake in the night. Um, I could stay downstairs. I've been colouring. I've already finished one page. But it was only like a straight marker colour. It was fun. Um, I've started a second one, which I'm enjoying. I've just been colouring. I'm going to watch some of the YouTube at the moment. I'm watching all the coloured pages. And um, I'm going to carry on colouring the picture I, I started downstairs. hope to finish my Curry Rosanna's picture this week. Uh, this month there's not a lot to do on it it's nearly finished but um i've just started filming a unboxing first impressions um i've got three of those on the go now because i've got the mozart one and i've got the watercolors for the artisas i haven't done it yet i haven't swatched them yet i might do some of that tomorrow and i've just got the brute fooder 120 oily pencils apparently there's a 160 but 120 is more than enough i don't need any more than that so they came today this is the set that's got four very very thin um coloring books in it and they are so thin you'd probably just rip it if you if you colored them but i didn't buy them for that book because i wanted to try the pencils so yeah um i'll give them a go and uh see how they are they weren't that expensive so there's a few sellers on amazon selling them so i thought I haven't bought supplies for a while, apart from monarchs, which are replacing my old monarchs. Because I do use them up a lot. I want to see what these are like, and I'm looking forward to it. So, that's pretty much it for tonight. Um, I'm going to put my TV on and watch some colouring videos. You will have to see me here. I'm so tired. I'm going to watch some hauls and some completed pages. Mine are ready. I've already uploaded them. So... I'll put one live tomorrow and one live Wednesday and then on Thursday I'll be uploading a colouring chat. Um, I haven't filmed a booktube video. I'm thinking of doing one. I might do it tomorrow night after I've done the filming downstairs because uh, that would be nice. I'll come up here and do it with the, the bookcase in the background. 
um, just to show you what books I've got and what I've read. I've got about six or seven books, new books. It's a very short haul, but it is worth doing. And um, But I did read something like 15 or 16 books last month, so it was really interesting. I haven't done a video where I've had to edit it together, so I need to go and get the pictures. I might do that tonight as well. Um, or I might do it just to do it tomorrow afternoon when I get home. So, yeah. I am going to do that. Put the TV on. Watch a bit of TV, colour a bit more of the picture I'm colouring in, and then I'm going to make a filming list of stuff I want to get filmed tomorrow because there's quite a lot I want to get filmed this week. So what I'm thinking is if I make a list of the filming stuff, I might actually get through it. Also, I don't want to delete the bit I've just done on this brute finder, <laughs> Funa uh, pencils bit. I don't really have to go through that again because, yeah, no. Uh, excuse me. Huh. There we go. So that's it for today. That's Monday. It's the 1st of February and it's over already. Scary. Anyway. I'll see you tomorrow. And we'll do it all again. Except I have to work tomorrow. Which is like... But yeah. That's how I make money. Good morning everybody. It's Tuesday the 2nd of February. I am at work. I'm eating Cadbury's white buttons. Because I can. It's not even 9 o'clock but uh, yeah I feel a bit down I, I don't know perhaps it's lockdown getting to me now finally after almost a year I've been fine but uh, sometimes I just feel a bit I want to be able to go out for a meal to the pub to the shops um but yeah Jennifer was good to gold she didn't want to go to the nursery because she was tired but once we got there she was fine which is great so I'm just uh putting on the day Phil's not coming today to do the doors because he's got he has to go to the dentist so just fair enough he's got to go to the dentist if he's got an appointment if you need a you know something doing and uh but yeah i'll be doing a bit of filming tonight downstairs while paul's watching the football and then i'll come up here and have a chill and watch some youtube i haven't even got it on today couldn't be bothered some days you just like that i'm so tired as well so anywho I'll see you this afternoon when I pick Jennifer up. Hey everyone, it's Monday evening. Nothing happened today at all. As you can see, I've had a shower because my hair's down and once again, I'm looking at the long routes. Um, I will do some filming tonight, but I'm really not in the mood. I'll go in for that minute. The only thing I am happy about today is this arrived. Now, this is not a cheap book, as many of you who have it will know, especially at the moment. But, um... Yeah, I, normally I do a flip through of books, even if they're really popular ones have been shown um, many times. And I was going to do some filming tonight. I might still do in a minute. But I'm feeling a bit down. I think it's just a combination of, of things. Not being able to go out and do things, see my mum and dad properly. Not being able to go anywhere outside your area. Not being able to go shopping in, in town, out for a meal, stuff like that. Also today it was announced that uh, Captain Sir Tom Moore has passed away um, at the age of 100. He had pneumonia and COVID-19. After all he did for us last year, he has lost his battle. But as he said, tomorrow's a good day. So made me a bit sad, but he made an impact on everybody in this country and he won't be forgotten. And I'm sure his family are going to arrange a nice obviously quiet funeral private funeral for him obviously because you can't have so many but god if any person in this country today deserves a state funeral it's him it's him he was a he'll be remembered i think they'll be teaching when they teach kids about the pandemic of 2020 2021 in schools in the future he'll be a part of that history he'll be part of what is taught he will never truly die because as the egyptians believed as long as your name is still spoken you never truly die you'll always live as long as you remembered you know so you know there are a few of those sayings throughout history i mean it's uh, to speak the name of the dead is to have him live again as long as one person remembers you you never really die and he will be remembered um, but that's enough of that for now because it's depressing enough as it is. I'm feeling down enough without having to go into, you know, that's, that's brought on the onion fairy, I must admit. It has brought on the onion fairy today a few times. 
So I'm just going to sit up in bed and I'm going to colour in Fairy Touch of Magic. Normally, like I said, I'd do a flip through first because I actually want to colour in it straight away. So I'm going to get my polychromos out and I'm going to have a go with those. I know which picture I'm going to do. There's two really gorgeous ones. One's a Christmassy one, so I'll save that for later in the year. But the, I know which one I'm going to do, so I can't wait to start. Um, I'm going to watch a bit of TV. I'm watching a channel called Geographics, which is great, full of history, geology, geography, all sorts of good stuff like that. And then I might snuggle down and start reading this month's Stephen King, which is, of course, The Green Mile. Now, for those of you who are interested in what I read last month, I will just very quickly give you a rundown. So, on January 1st, I set my Goodreads challenge to 75, which is exactly what I had it set to last year. And in January, I read 17 books. So very quickly, the first one I read was called The Luxury Orphanage by Grant Finnegan. Absolutely brilliant book, it's five out of five. Um, also, my mum's read it. She said it was really good too, and I've recommended it to Missy over at Binge Reader. Story about these uh, people who move into a renovated orphanage and are haunted by the ghosts of the children who died within. The next one is, uh, most of them are e-books. In fact, all the rest of them, apart from one, they're all e-books. Misspelled by Morgana Best. <laughs> These are all cosy mysteries. Cho Chocolate a la Murder by Kirsten Weiss. That is um, the fourth one in the Perfectly Perfect Paranormal Museum uh, series. An Occupied Grave by A.G. Barnett. Somebody Tell Aunt Hilly, Aunt Hilly She's Dead by Christina Miller. Mum liked that one as well. She read that one and enjoyed that. Witch's Brew by Morgana Best. So I've read a couple of hers. Pretty Little Flyers. Uh, by Erin Johnson, One Dark and Saw Me Night, that's Night with a K, by Hermione Moon and Serenity Woods, True Confections by Ruth Hartzler, The Bookshops of Hopes and Dreams by Hannah Ellis, that's one that's sent down, set down in the West Country, so I always like those. Do They Know It's Christmas Yet by James Crooks. I like the, the premise of that is, they took a trip back to 1984 and broke it. <laughs> so basically they find a time machine, this is so cool, in the uh, workshop of their, their late grandfather. It's built into a Sinclair C5 and they go back to 1984 and accidentally run, run over or knock over Bob Geldof, or they're involved in an accident involving Bob Geldof, on the day he viewed the news footage of the starving children in Africa and decided to do something about it. So they run around in 1984 trying to put right this error because obviously if, um, and Ethiopia and all those places, if he never saw that, if he didn't see that footage, he would never get to, um, form a uh, band aid, do live aid, have the song do they know it's Christmas and we wouldn't be aware of, of the problems going on in that time. And there are other, the other interesting things about, um, they go back to the day that the, the sister was born because her father um, missed it and wished he could go back so they, so he would be present and they f fix it, sort of fix it, but then they find out something else. So. Dreamcatcher by Stephen King. Oh my god, that was a long book, but so good. I do like a bit of Stephen King. Um, I have seen the film. The film is dire. In fact, I didn't understand the film. Now reading the book, I can't see any resemblance to the film that I watched. Or perhaps I fell asleep in it and missed it all. Good book. I read <laughs> some more by Grant Finnegan of the Luxury Autumn Plane. Uh, Flight 19 by Grant Finnegan and Flight 19 Part 2. Uh, this premise is the story of a plane, Flight 19, flying from Honolulu to Los Angeles when um, it disappears in 2019. Yeah. However, it appears exactly the same time five years later in 2024. And it's the story of how they go about adjusting to life in 2024, how their lives have irrevocably changed because say for instance they were married their husbands had them declared dead and remarried as some of their families have died or gone missing and things like that part two continues the story but in this one they've taken the same plane and they've gone back but this time they haven't gone back to 2020 uh, sorry to 2019 they've gone back to 2021 which is this year <laughs> no covid though which is good. Uh, Grant Finnegan's Seven List. This is set in Australia. He is, in fact, uh, an Australian person. 
he lives in Australia and uh, it's about a book that has the name of every living person in it and it's only their names only in there while they live and uh, uh, once they die the name disappears from the book however you can change the time and date of the death by changing it by 26 years so so for instance if you were due to die on your 27th birthday they could change that back by 26 years and you die when you're one so it's quite hard it's very clever Barclay Street by Ron Ripley a ghost story about this boy who grows up in this house called Barclay Street which is haunted by numerous ghosts all controlled by one evil uh, child who was drowned in the pond they're not all evil um, but she does control them and his parents go missing when he's uh, at marine training and he's about to graduate and they were going there but they, they disappeared instead and he wants to find out what happened to them so he goes back to the house and he finds out so and then the last one I read was The Lighthouse by Ron Ripley this is Barclay Street part two or book two in this case uh, his friend Marie who is a police lieutenant um, asks him to help her cousin Amy because she's got a lighthouse and her builder who's reconstructing it and building it has gone missing and in fact he's been found dead and there are ghosts out there and it's the same sort of thing he goes out there to help out and there's lots of twists and turns so that's good I have now started book three in the Bartley Street series but I can't remember what it's called but I'll update you at the end of the month I don't particularly want to do uh, full book reviews and reading wrap-ups at the moment if you'd like me to do one let me know or if you want me to talk in depth about any of the books I've mentioned just leave me a comment and of course I will but that's it for tonight I'm going to go and um watch YouTube and colour in my book I can't wait and I'll see you tomorrow actually it's Tuesday today not Monday do you know I don't even know what day of the week it is Tuesday night. I'll see you later. Mm. Hey everybody, it's Wednesday and I finished work because I forgot to vlog before. I think it's Wednesday. I'm really losing, yeah, it's Wednesday. Track of where we are this week. Um, Jennifer's home. She had a little fall at nursery and she's got a little scratch on her head, a little bump on her head where she banged her head, didn't you? Did you bang your head? Were you chasing somebody else? Did they stop and you just fell over, didn't they? Yeah. So they stopped and she fell over and banged her head, but she's alright. So Phil's here doing the doors, so we're going to just chill out in the bedroom and watch whatever's on YouTube that's children related, obviously. But that's okay, as long as she's alright. That's right, they're hearts. Good girl. Yeah, there's lots of them. What are those? Elephant, that's right, good girl. You like elephants? Yeah. Your granddad used to ride on an elephant Mommy long, come. long time ago. Mummy, come too. What, to see the elephants? I'll come and see the elephants anytime. They're eating an ice lolly, yes, they are. That one's eating a red ice lolly, so it's turning red. Yeah. This is my life. It's okay then. Anyway, I'll see you in a bit. Jennifer's sitting on the table playing with her dinosaurs. We've already made the Paw Patrol jigsaw puzzle and the four dinosaur jigsaw puzzles so now we're playing with the dinosaurs this is rexy who's next out the box jen there's one more one. Oh, oh they're having a cuddle oh. who's that me <laughs> is that you yeah. i don't think that dinosaur's you can we have a look and see who he is mm. it's yours. it is a short one Brachiosaurus. Brachiosaurus. It's that one. Oh, Bra that was your nose. That one's a Patasaurus. Patasaurus. Okay. Patasaurus. I must get a house now. That's the dinosaurs it. are having a house. Oh, this is a little mummy. <laughs> they do look like uh, they're related, don't they? It's a, it's a mummy. Yeah, mummy, mummy. Well, what's next mummy? out the box? Baby. Baby, we've still got some left in the box. Who's coming out next? It's an old one. It's an old one. Jennifer loves her dinosaurs, doesn't she, Jen? It's an old one. It's good there. Yeah, what's it called then, Jen? It's the old one. It's that one, Daddy. Yeah, it's that one. How do you say it? 
Yeah, Ultra. Para. No. Pa para Parasaurolophus. 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 Right. Mm -hmm. It's all Greek to me. <coughs> More like that in. <laughs> Oops. Who's next? Raptor. It's Velociraptor. Oh, it, will down, like it will, yeah. There you go. Is he going there? Yeah. Yeah? Good girl. Who's this? Let's go there. No, that one's Steggy. No, it's not Steggy. No, it's not Steggy. He's at his own person, isn't he? No, Mummy, it's not Steggy. No, that's Steggy, isn't it? That one there, that's Steggy. This one is... Begins with E. It's not A. E. Uh, you. Are, I can't read it. Lophosaurus or something, but I can't. No, there's not one. I can't see it because it's not on oh, the. This one. This goes, go there. What does it say? You hmm. will plow kef alus. No. Sort of. You will plow kef alus. No. It's this one here. I mean, sorry, it isn't. Yeah, it's that one anyway. Oh no, no, they're all dead! Looks like the uh, mass extinction event has happened. <laughs> Put them back in the box now. No, it's time for bed now, Jen Jen. Not bed, is not yet. Not yet? Oh, dinosaurs. Don't you play dinosaurs? And and Paw Patrol stuff. Whoa! Yeah, dinosaur. Again, again. Again, again. Apparently, it's again, again. Hey, everybody. Um, yeah, it's night time. Everybody's in bed. It's about half past ten. I've actually been downstairs colouring in Fairy Touch of Magic, so I'm really loving that book. Um, I haven't done any filming again. I will do that tomorrow night, which is Thursday. Into a current chat. Oh, not sure what to do yet. I'm gonna have a look. Uh, maybe do a Marcus one uh, of Ava Brown. Perhaps that Chibi book. Maybe I'll have a look at it tomorrow when I'm at work and make a decision. But that's it for tonight. I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Good morning. It's Thursday morning, and I'm about to start work. My battery levels are in low, so I'm keeping an eye on it. Jennifer's at nursery. She was so cute this morning wearing a new outfit. She looked really happy wearing it because it had a hood. And she had pockets. She had her hands in her pockets in her head up. Like she's one of the cool kids. Hey guys, my battery ran out and I forgot to change it, so I haven't vlogged all day. I will try and do it tomorrow. I'm off to bed now. I'll try and remember the battery and I'll try. Good morning, everybody. It is Friday, the 5th of February. I've actually changed the battery now, so it won't cut out. <laughs> I hasn't put that other one on charge. So I do apologise for that yesterday. Plan for today. Work. Finish work. Pick up Jen. Play with Jen. Dinner. Put Jen to bed. Have a shower. Go to bed. That's my chip. There might be a bit of colouring involved in there. Uh, obviously it's um, my Friday, so it's what I call Finish It Friday. That's when I work on um, not obviously the newer whips, although I, I might do at some point. But it, it's the day I work on um, whips that have been hanging around for a while to try and get them finished. So I've got Kirby Brand at the Rosannis's, uh, I think it's Imagine More Thinner one in there. That's nearly finished. There's not a lot to do on that. So I want to finish that one today if I can. Want to do a bit more on the Johanna Bassford calendar and start the next page because, you know, that's it. And then tomorrow I'll go back to colouring whatever I want to, whether it's in a new book or whether it's in an older book. I mean, obviously I am trying to, I've got a, a section of books that I want to um, colour in this month. I've put to one side out of the new books or out of the books that are on the unused shelf. Um, but there are also, I want to colour in some of the other things as well. So, obviously... Um, I just got to decide what I want to cover yet. Ooh. Anyway, I've got to start work, so I will see you when I finish. So, hey guys, not a lot's happened today. Um, Phil stained some of the woodwork downstairs, and I'm really out of focus, which is great. I've uploaded my colour and chat. Took all day to upload. I don't know why it does that sometimes. Another one's upload really quickly. 
I was asleep, it's got midnight, I'm in bed. I was just browsing Facebook when I saw that Jade Summers got a new book out and I just went and ordered it. It took me ages to find it because they, they never pop up. I have to, uh, but I found it and it, it is a kind of my numbers book. Like I said, I'm not clean on those, but the Jade Summer ones I really, really like. In fact, I started colouring in the Christmas one earlier today because I wanted to colour a, 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 a colour by numbers and I just picked one up and it was a Christmas one. But yes, yeah, so I've ordered that and I can't explain how happy that has made me. It really cheered me up. It's really made my day because I love collecting and colouring books. And the Jade Summer ones, I really adore them. And I have got over 80. Um, so, oh, the pattern books, obviously, I colour in the most. I always colour loads of patterns, but I'm just so excited. And it's not got a long arrival date. Like, sometimes you'll order something on, like, a weekend, and it'll say arrive in the following weekend. This one's following Monday, so this is, like, two days away. And it might even come quicker than that. You never know. So I'm really, really excited. I can't wait. It's made me so happy. Um, I've been feeling so down that finally they've put a book out and I've ordered it and it just really really cheered me up so yeah I'm very excited I've been reading all day I've finished the Barclay Street book I was reading which was which one was it book three and I can't remember so the first one was Barclay Street the second one was the lighthouse the third one was the town of Griswold I finished that one and then I read book four which was I can't remember hang on let me have a look they're very good they're by uh I think his name is Ron Ripley but I'll, I'll confirm that in a minute let me just uh get into my goodreads and I'll, I'll let you know so my challenge yeah so uh yeah the first one was Bar berkeley street or barclay street ron ripley second the lighthouse oh no sorry i tell a lie the third one was sandford hospital yeah that one i found and then there was the town of griswold oh i think the other way around i'm not sure um maybe not and then there was Kirkow prison and then the next one the, and i also read lake an attack so that's six of the, of the i think it's the box set of nine i'm reading and i've read six of them three and a half of them i've read today so my reading challenge is looking pretty good for february i've read 21 or 75 books i think i might be editing the goal in a couple of months i still haven't read uh, much of uh, any more of them um, the Green Mile, or the Jean Harlow book I'm reading, but uh, I, I will. Um, I just spent the entire evening, I, I didn't do any colouring this evening. did some this afternoon with Jennifer. Um, and I've just spent the entire evening reading and I've really enjoyed it. So, yeah, I thought I'd let you know about those. They're really good. It's Ron Ripley. It's, check it out. He's got like, a lot of ghost stories. And I will be looking him up again when uh, I finish this box set. Try and get some more. Um... Mum might want to read them. I don't know. It's quite violent. Uh, she's in enjoying Grant Finnegan, so that's something who I also read um, in January. But uh, I'm going to head off to bed now. Hopefully the weather won't be too bad tomorrow. I'm going to get out and have a walk. Nice long walk. Mm. Anyway, I'm actually going to go to bed now. I'll see you tomorrow. Morning everybody, it's Saturday morning and yeah, it's, it's nice out the sun's out, it's not raining at the moment, which is great, it probably will at some point. We're going to pop over and see Paul's mum, check on her, make sure she's okay. Got a bit of a few things to pick up for my mum. Got a new book this morning, not a colouring book, although as you know I've ordered the new Jade Summer one, and that is The Crimes of Jack the Ripper by Paul Rowland. Now, uh, it only cost me two quid on eBay and I, I don't know how much the postage was, probably three, three pounds from it. So it was very cheap. Um, it's one I've not got. It's too tall for my ripper book, so it'll have to go on the top like the other my ripper shelf, like the other one. But that's okay. That doesn't matter. <laughs> Every now and again, I do like to add a new ripper book to my collection. So, you know, I love my books. Um, yes, I must try and read some more of my Jean Harlow one because it's getting all crumpled down here on the floor. Ugh, there it is. 
so yeah I'm oh I'm almost halfway through this so I'll probably, probably have a go at that later I've been colouring in one of the Jade Summer Coloured by Numbers book but it's the Christmas one it was the first one on the shelf I thought the first one I come to I'm going to pick out and do so and I don't mind that it's Christmas it's actually quite nice to do so yeah so I know some people were disappointed that the new Jade Summer is a Christmas book but I'm not I'm really looking forward to it so yay right I'm going to gather up some uh washing to take down to put on get some clothes for the little madam and get her dressed so this is Jennifer's walls now as you can see it's all been nicely plastered it's pretty flat you always have some lumps and bumps in a wall like this because the the house is uh, lumpy and bumpy as it's so old but uh, yeah so we just need the button back up so we can put her rail up, her, her window up because she just keeps waking me up. As soon as it gets light she thinks it's time to get up. And get the walls sorted. I need ceiling. We're doing that next week after next hopefully, if not before. So it's Saturday night. We went to a pause mum. She's fine. We went for a walk to the shop. Went playing with Jennifer. She's been kicking off this evening. She will not go to sleep. Paul's trying to put it back to her, it's like nine o'clock. All she's done is got out of bed because she can safely climb out of the cot on her own. Come to the top of the stairs where there's a, obviously a, a gate and saying she's scared. What of, I don't know. Um, she, one minute she says she's scared of Rexy, so we move Rexy, that's her, one of her dinosaurs. Then do Doody, that's the other one of her dinosaurs, move that too. <clears throat> then it's Pet, then it's Teddy, then it's Dolphy, and she's not scared of them. She, she can hear me, I don't know, but my head is killing me and I'm really tired and I would like to go to bed to sleep. <clears throat> it's been a good day, but it's not been a good evening. Because, uh, to be fair, she had tea, she was good as gold, we played with the toys, we painted and, and then she, uh, as soon as it's bedtime, she wants none of it. All I say is my head feels like my brain is trying to escape. <laughs> Anyway, I'll see you a little bit later. I'm gonna chill for a bit, but I'm gonna bed soon. Hey everyone, it is Sunday. It's Sunday night, I haven't vlogged today. I've gotta to be honest, I forgot. We did our usual shopping, played with Jennifer, had food, and that's about it. I'm gonna take a week off from vlogging. There'll be no weekly vlog next week, so don't worry, I'm fine. And um, if I can, I'll post some videos. I've just got a few things I've gotta sort out. I'm gonna be trying to decorate. Jennifer's room so that's going to take up a lot of my time so I'll see you in a week or so. Bye guys.